Hi friends, this is Faraz here again. So in today's session, I will tell you the main differences between ECC uh, pricing in sales and uh, S for HANA pricing. So uh, the assumption of this uh, video is that people who are watching this video are already aware of uh, ECC based pricing and sales order. So I'm just going to show the main differences and how it has changed with S4 HANA. So this is a standard uh, sales order screen. It looks very much similar to what you have been seen in ECC. This is uh, uh, material and I'll just click on conditions. The condition brings you the pricing screen where uh, you the PR00 is one of the common condition type and the reason I brought you onto this screen is to just tell you what is the field where the current value of this 101 uh, pricing is stored so uh, most of you already know that um, how do you check check the structure where the uh, conditions or where the values are stored in a table so I'll just press F1 and then click on uh, the technical settings so you will see a table name uh, which is KOMV okay so this KOMV is actually a structure where uh, you store in the value now let us go and see this structure in uh, in the system okay now I'll go in SC11 which is a table to see structure in tables uh, SC11 transaction code I mean and uh, here if I type in KOMV and then select uh, display so you will see uh, KOMV brings in uh, the uh, list of the uh, components and uh, fields where you uh, basically use this to understand what are the data types and fields where the values are stored now you will notice that uh, it says that this is obsolete and replaced by PRCD elements. So the earlier table that was used to store the value was KONV. Yeah. Now KONV is replaced by PRCD underscore elements. So let us see what system says when you go to KONV, which is a table. Now it says obsolete replaced by PRCD elements. So it's still there because for development perspective there will be some values which we which you need to uh, transfer when you are moving from ECC to S4 HANA and uh, and if you execute uh, for results you will not find any uh, values in this table. So like for example if you go to this table and try and execute you won't find anything because it has been made obsolete and there are no values stored in this table okay so now the table which has been replaced by this is prcd underscore elements now if you ex if you uh, select the most common one and then execute then you will notice there are quite a few values that have come uh, for the uh, pricing uh, so now here you see this PRCD and underscore elements for PR00 has brought in certain values for you now the next thing that we need to understand is that in ECC uh, if you do any development work related to a pricing then you use KONV um, related structures to append uh, the uh, to append the structure so if you have added an append structure to a database table KONV which was used in ECC you must also add an append, st append structure with the same fields data types etc in the new structure that is used for PRCD underscore elements 
so the new structure that is used for prcd underscore elements is prcs underscore elements underscore data so if you go here and see this so you will find this is the data structure for pricing me so you have to use this as a <coughs> structure and then there is a structure which is prcs underscore and then execute so here you include your um, append to uh, transfer the values that were customized okay any standard sap will take care on its own but for your project if there is anything that is bespoke then you have to follow this but um, there is also a pricing cookbook which is used by developers so uh, there are a lot of other things that that needs to be taken care of and those are the uh, guidelines that needs to be followed before you uh, do any development work related to pricing okay now there are a few other things that have been changed in um, in in uh, the s4 hana table and it has all improved so like aon we used to be a cluster table which was very slow uh, prcd elements has been uh, prcs d underscore elements is a transparent table okay which is more improved in performance as well the other things which are changed is if i I made a note of few values like if you know if you check the values K A these are the field names and if I just check so this is increased its length from 224 it was much lesser than 24 and likewise some other fields uh, their character length has improved so you can install more values in there okay so uh, these are some of the changes that have happened and uh, in the when 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 the development happens uh, related to pricing again then there is a uh, something called custom code analyzer which lists all the technical objects that are being changed so it's worth checking that as well and the, the few things that I remember have also been changed is if you go to the access even though know, people as I said uh, are already familiar with ECC pricing so they would know that there is an access sequence so if you select this and see uh, this uh, if you go back one second so the this um, access is it has updated from two to three characters so instead of uh, instead of having a limit of two it can allow you three in ECC it was only uh, two digits so you can uh, have the sequence for up to 99 only but now there's it is very rare that it goes beyond 99 go because of the combinations and uh, everything that can provide but some industries uh, can still with a frequent change in pricing and different conditions and all can still go beyond so that's another change that has happened with um, S4 HANA so it has um, expanded the um, the value of uh, this from 2 to 3 character limit okay so so that's all I wanted to tell you guys today about the changes that have happened with ECC to S4 HANA and if you like this video please do uh, like and subscribe so I'll continue to do more such videos thank you guys have a nice day bye